Hi, this is Punardeep Singh from IRSME 2019 batch. Today we are discussing non-destructive testing in which I am going to focus on dye penetrant testing of weld specimen and components. So first question in my mind, what is NDT and why NDT? That is non-destructive testing. So it's a way of testing materials without destroying. On a professional front, NDT may be defined as the science of examining materials or manufactured articles to determine their fitness for certain purposes without impairment of the desirable properties. And it can be used for inherent processing and service defects like cracks, blowholes, porosity, tear, inclusion, shrinkage, pitting, etc. What are some of the benefits of NDT? It ensures product reliability, safety, quality. It can prevent accidents, save human life and property. It ensures customer satisfaction and there is a direct 100% testing on components which is possible. Now let's dive into the applications on Indian Railways. So it can be used on locomotives for bogies, axles, shafts, bearing, crankshafts, magnet frames, gears, pinions, etc. For coaches, it can still be used for bogies, axles, shells, wheels, springs, other welded it items, etc. For wagons, it can be used for bogies, axles, springs, wheels. On permanent way like track, it can be used for rails, rail welds, points, crossings, etc. And for bridges, it can be used for girders, bearings, etc. Now, let's dive into the process itself, which is dye penetrant test. So what it is? It is an NDT method only to detect surface discontinuities such as cracks, shrinkage, blow holes, porosities, pinholes, coal shuts, etc. And it is applicable for ferrous, non-ferrous and other materials such as plastics, glass, ceramics, glasses, rubber and etc. But we need to use or have a kit for the dye penetrant test. So what is that kit? DPT kit. So it is a combination of three dyes or three materials which is the cleaner, the penetrant, the dye itself and the developer. Now let's look into the basic, test, basic testing procedure, advantages and disadvantages of this method. And the credit goes to video by Material Science 2000 which is again made by University of Applied Sciences. Dye penetrant examination is an important method of non-destructive testing of materials. This is the basic principle. Often the surface of a workpiece is covered with rust or paint, which masks the material defects, as shown in the sectional view. Therefore, the first step is always the pre-cleaning of the test piece surface. This must be done very thoroughly, so that any defects present, here it is a crack, are open to the surface. In the second step, the penetrant is applied to the test piece, usually a red-coloured low-viscosity oil. Due to the penetrant's high surface wetting capability, it penetrates into the defects and cracks. After several minutes of dwell time, the third step is to rinse the part's surface cautiously with water. The water removes the penetrant completely from the surface, but leaves it in the crack. Now, the fourth step. After drying the test piece, a developer is applied onto the surface. The developer is a fine-grained white powder suspended in a liquid. It forms an even coating on the surface. After drying, it draws penetrant from the crack out onto the surface. The location of the crack is indicated clearly on the surface. And this is how it is carried out in practice. We wish to inspect two samples, a segment of a worm gear shaft and a broken bicycle crank arm. Both test pieces have already been cleaned. First in line is the worm gear shaft. The material tester applies the penetrant. After a dwell time of about 10 minutes, she removes the excess penetrant from the surface by rinsing the test piece gently with water. She takes care not to rinse for an unnecessary long time because the penetrant is supposed to stay in the defects. Now she dries the surface of the sample with a cloth to absorb the excess water. As the final step, she applies the developer and lets it dry. That's it. 
several cracks are indicated on the surface in deep red colour. Next the broken bicycle crank arm has to undergo the die penetration test. Spraying with penetrant, allowing to soak, rinsing, drying and applying developer. Clearly additional cracks are indicated on the fragments. Finally, the pros and cons at a glance. Advantages of this test method are almost all materials can be tested and the method is simple and low cost for a single inspection. Disadvantages are only suitable for surface defects. No information about the depth of flaws can be gained and rough surfaces are difficult to test. So as you saw in the previous video, the dye penetrant test is also done in the same way in RCF. So there are four basic steps. First is the cleaning or surface preparation of the article. Then the spraying of the penetrant dye over it and then cleaning the dye, the excess dye after that. Then spraying the developer over the article so that the dye can come out due to the blotting action as you can see in the picture. As far as references and content are concerned, I got all my information from field visit at RCF, IRMI presentations and Indian standard 3568 specifications for liquid penetrant testing. So that was all. Thanks.